Roundtable Podcast. I'm your boy, Corey G. At Small Arms Dammy Psych, it's Treadway. Shout at out. Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself, so. Cole Susak. We are here live at the Arnold, and we ran into Wyatt from Ice Barrel, one of the co-founders, uh, which is one of the fastest growing businesses in our entire space right now. And he's got great hair. Do you Thank see you. this? Got yeah. the mullet hanging out yeah. a little bit. So I figure we <laughs> throw nice. him on real quick. Oh, first off, it's brought to you by MaxEverMuscle.com. Yeah. Pre-Extreme. It's available now. Yes. So, and Sam Adams. Shout out Sam Adams. So, Wyatt, first time at yes. the Arnold. Yeah. You're blowing up in the space right now. You're a humble dude, but your business is killing it. Everybody's trying to do cold plunges right now. They're using a lot of ice barrels. Yeah. It's uh, Obviously, you've been working with Dustin, which is really cool. What's your kind of Arnold, like, wide-eyed kind of statement right now dude they got something for everyone <laughs> yeah they, they that, they very true very everyone. true yeah it's it's wild i don't know if i've ever seen so many people in one area uh <laughs> all focused around health and wellness and fitness it's insane so yeah you guys yeah. definitely should be here next year next year we're going to put together a pretty decent activation give out some ice baths do some cool competitions things like that's that. his humble way to say we're going to blow this motherfucker up <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll do some yeah. decent activation <laughs> yeah. are, you, are, are you thinking like about doing like the ice baths like live like yeah, people yeah, can yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sick, yeah, yeah we'll so bring. Sick. You have a little changing booth. Give out free oh. shirts, pants. Now crush it. Yeah, just jump in. That'd be yeah. next level. I love marketing guys, man. They walk through and be like, "Yep, I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, I know yep. what I'm gonna do next year in this bitch." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everyone's gonna be slipping and sliding. We're gonna make a mess. <laughs> wet, it's so literally good. Yeah, wet. that's yeah, literally wet. wet. That's literally wet. Super wet. <laughs> no, it's good. Treadway. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm currently reading the book called Zero to One. Uh, I don't know if you've read it, but they talk about creating a monopoly, right? And when I look at Ice Barrel, the way that you guys separate yourself from the competitors is a really good example of you took a product that most people probably don't think that they need and just made it something that they, they do need, right? It, it makes them look at it and they say, I need this. How did you make that? Uh, like, what was your vision for Ice Barrel? Was it always to kill the competition just by creating a product that's that much better? Or was it around the experience itself? Yeah, uh, the brand has always been extremely experiential. I remember back in like 2017 when I was taking our prototype around to all these different gyms. Everybody was like, nobody takes ice baths. That's for uh, NFL athletes. And I was like, just wait. There's a time coming where <laughs> all of you now guys. everybody are, takes yeah, ice baths. Everybody does. So there was definitely a huge push of just educating the market. In Europe and Asia, cold therapy is huge. But in the West, anything uncomfortable, we kind of push it away. So as we have been reconditioning and training the American consumer's mind, that used to stress, good stress is good for you, can help improve performance, things like that. Uh, they've just caught on. And so, yeah, we definitely wanted to create a product that would create an experience, and I think we did it. That's awesome. So, yeah. so how old are you now? Like, when did you start this? Like, 2017, how old were you then? Uh, okay, so that was 2017. Right now, 2023, I'm, I'll be 29 this year. Oh, so. shit. So you're like... Yeah, like right out of school? Like, did you go to school? Or I didn't what? even go to school. No, I just skipped that, got married, got I just some real that. estate, and started a business. That's yeah, sick. Yeah. yeah. So how how do you get started in that then, though? Like, how did you come up with, like, you wanted to do Ice Barrel? Like, what was it something? Like, how do you? Yeah, so my previous career was selling corporate jets. I was an aircraft okay. salesman, and I was mega stressed out and struggled with anxiety, and I was using cold therapy mm -hmm. as a way to manage my own stress and anxiety. Okay, okay. Love it. And there wasn't a good way to take an ice bath. Uh, I wanted to create something that would support the body's natural position when it goes into the fight or flight mode so nowhere in nature do you go into the fight or flight mode and then lay down in a rested position like everybody ah, does in a bathtub dope, right dude so yeah. i wanted Clip to that cow go ahead <laughs> sorry <laughs> no, i wanted to uh create something that could keep the spine up uh, up straight just even like right you're in a fight or flight mode you're fighting your your spine is tilted forward a little bit so that's why i wanted to create the position around the body and then where it was its own practice not the family bathtub not the cold shower so, mm. yeah. What? You know, I had no clue of that, Wyatt. That, like, and I consume your content, but I've yeah. never heard you say that. That yeah. makes so much sense. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> so, who, like, wh what made you, you know, you were stressed out. What made you go to the ice therapy? Like, who were you watching? What were you looking at? Or, like, was it from sports back in the day? Like, where did you get that idea? Yeah, so I was uh, just had finished an aircraft deal, mega stressed out, went to the gym to go work out, and this guy came up to me, and he said, you look like shit right ah, now. <laughs> thanks, like, buddy. Yeah, that's a rude way to introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, you should try cold showers. They really help with stress and anxiety. And try some breathing exercises. And I was a little offended, but I was also, like, <laughs> stressed out. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. 
So I went home, I took that first cold shower, and it was like light bulb moment. I'm like, I feel really good right now, and I haven't been feeling good in a while. And no other modality, working out, supplements, nothing was working. So I was like, I like cold therapy was like it for me. So I just kept taking cold showers over and mm. over and over again. Changed my life. Literally so, changed your life. Literally. Yeah. Wow. Do you find any struggles in the marketing space when you're trying to separate yourself from other modalities that people can can use for cold therapy? Um, not necessarily. I think we offer a really unique experience. We also really support the cold therapy community. Uh, when when you're suffering, you want to suffer together. And so we offer yeah. that communal experience um, to plunge together, suffer together. So not really. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. It's all about building community. I, I love that answer. Yeah. 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 Turn yeah. on. Um, I was, like, I don't know. Yeah. I, you yeah. know, it's, you so, this is what I love about it, Wyatt. Every question you've answered is so, you know it so. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, you're not like reading from a script because it's so deep. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of like when I talk about lifting weights or the things that we've done, like, I, you don't really have to overthink it. It's just you, right? right. And I yeah. think that that's why, in my opinion, the authenticity of your brand, every time that me, me and you have had any conversations, I come away with thinking like, this dude's going to make yeah. a bazillion dollars because it's so rooted in actual therapy, like you said, actually change your life. Like, if I'm not a weightlifter, bro, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in my life, to be <laughs> right. honest with you. Like, yeah. you know, it saved me from being an angry kid. It, it, it created a whole life for my family, not only my family, but multiple generations of my family. Like, it's truly a life-changing thing. You've done that with a therapy, which is – so I identify with that so much. Yeah. And I love those answers because they're so – concrete and deep that it's just what it is which is what people i think feel from the brand bro it's cool yeah thank you I yeah. Appreciate so that. Yeah. so with like new people who you know they've seen the ice therapy and stuff like that maybe they're still on the fence to it like what is like a beginner like program like what are you telling them that they're going to experience and get from it and like what's like how how long are they going in the ice barrel like what are you doing and is there a yeah program you follow i mean a great place to start is just take a cold shower and when, if that's hard, then go cold, then turn it hot. Cold, turn it hot. And just go back and forth. And just start exposing the body to different temperatures. And then over time, that's going to start reducing symptoms of anxiety, lower cortisol levels, stress, boost yeah. your mood, energy levels, improve your immune system. And then when you're ready to experience the deeper therapeutic uh, experiences around cold therapy, full body immersion is the way to go. Yeah. Soak right down to the neck three to four minutes at 45 to 55 degrees is a great starting point. So you just do like that one round or do you work your way up to like three? Um, so for me, I've been doing it a while. I'll yeah. stay in uh, up to nine, 10 minutes um, at around 45 degrees. If I have access to a sauna, I'm going sauna, ice, sauna, yeah. ice. Mm. And that's just like a great way to start the day or end the day. Yeah, so good. Uh, now, I know you've been able to work with some cool athletes, and yeah. you're humble, like, yeah, we've been able to support the community. But, like, <laughs> I know one story most recently because I ran into you that you were able to work with a certain athlete that you came away and were, like, super excited about as a fighter, right, that is. Yeah. Like, so talk about, like, maybe a couple of people you've been able to work with. That's been a pretty cool experience. Yeah, 100%. Um, no, so honored and stoked to work with, like, George St. Pierre, Michael Chandler, uh, Dustin Poirier, uh, Gilbert Burns. Yeah, we have, like, dominated the UFC space, so that's been amazing. Um, and, and more recently, also, like, I've loved working with our CrossFit athletes. Yeah. Like, those people train really hard in a different way, a different energy level. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've been working with some top uh, CrossFit athletes. I just saw my good buddy, Grant McCarthy, the mm -hmm. Island Ninja. He's, like, a three-time Ninja Warrior champion. <laughs> okay, He's here amazing. today. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so a lot of really cool athletes, top performers. Um, I'll never forget, uh, I'm a big 300 fan, and when Gerard, Bear, uh, Gerard Butler mm -hmm. bought a barrel, I was so stoked about that. Oh, hell That's yeah. amazing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah we, it's funny because whenever people buy stuff and, like, it comes across your desk, you know, they're buying it just you not knowing. Right. But you're obviously a fan. You're like, damn. Because I remember yeah. when I would see supplement orders come through to be, like, certain athletes, I'm like, Brandon Marshall's buying supplements? Like, <laughs> yeah. remember, Brandon Marshall yeah. called my office one time to ask a question, and they were like, yeah, the one that plays for the Bears right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you know, it, 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 it never. It's so cool, though. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, that's totally. that's awesome. Yeah, it's a uh, lot of cool athletes. Cool. Yeah. So, all right. So, got to success right now. Where do you see Ice Barrel going in the future? Like, where do you where do you want the brand to go? Yeah. 
I mean, we really envision a future where the power of cold therapy enhances the potential of everybody everywhere. And so those are like the two words, everybody everywhere. We just want to expose as many people to cold therapy as possible just because it makes for well-adjusted humans. And we need yeah. that more than ever in this world. Uh, so, yeah, just super passionate. We've been uh, serving a lot, of, a lot of different demographics right now, people that have struggles with mental health. Uh, we even have these like high schoolers that are starting to purchase the product and use it to build confidence. So wow. when they're going to school, they're not struggling with self-confidence, bullying, things like that. So it's just amazing how it's reaching out to all these different communities. Is this surprising? Maybe it's not because you love it so much. But like when you hear another demo added, it's like, really? I never thought that have you... Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised every day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was there you go. working my ass off from the beginning, and I didn't ever think it would grow to this point. I, I thought cold therapy would really take off, but I'm just so honored to be able to uh, facilitate a, a brand and a community. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Totally. What's the craziest place you've ever done cold therapy? Or, or like a crazy place that you would want to go do it? Like, I see, I see Peter's always doing them in, like, yeah. lakes and frozen, like, rivers and stuff like that. Yeah, one of the coolest places, I was in Montreal, and there's a place called Boda Boda, and it's literally a boat, and they have saunas and ice baths, and I was out on the boat. It was raining outside doing cold plunges. It was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, totally. That's super sick. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, give your uh, headphones to yeah. Danny real quick. Throw on Danny. Yeah, shout out small arms. Small arms, Danny. He yeah, was in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom trying to find something. Danny, you know were I mean? you in the bathroom <laughs> trying to yeah. find it? No, yeah. I was going to – I was doing some curls. <laughs> hey. Obviously. Obviously, we have nice. Wyatt here from Ice Barrel. Shout out. What's this, up, yeah. dude? Yeah, up, that's Danny. Danny uh, does a ton of Go Ruck stuff, yeah. Olympic lifting. He's done cold and hot therapy stuff. Yeah. You, I know you have at least one question for this guy. Um – you don't know what we talked about, which yeah, is yeah. amazing. Yeah, what, like, give me the clip. No, that's all right. You, you just got to ask. You just ask it. It's the <laughs> small arm says set. Yeah, small arm says oh, question. Small, SAS, yeah. 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 All right. Uh, <laughs> small arm says, yeah. All right. Well, apparently you are exploding as a company right now. Um, what? Uh, I'm trying to think here. Let me think for a second. Danny. Um, what are some of the challenges that you're going through right now? We I haven't guess. asked that yet. So yeah. 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 Great question. Or, or, that or like, what are you finding that is yeah. more difficult to do right that now? That was a great fucking yeah. podcast question. Let's give it up. Everyone, Yay, everyone, everyone, Danny. Everyone, 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 everyone Found something in the shout bathroom. Out, shout out yeah. uh, Some of the biggest challenges we face here at Ice Barrel is 100% supporting the demand and the growth. Uh, we started out the year three weeks back ordered. And so we ramped up production. Damn. And uh, that just costs a lot of money to ramp up production. We had to purchase more molds. So supporting the demand has been huge. Uh, we're doing a lot of product innovation, uh, which is kind of unusual to do in all one year. But we're releasing three new products this year, which is oh, wow. so exciting. Uh, but it has been super demanding just from a time perspective. Uh, taking care of the team, managing uh, manufacturing, growth, plus product innovation. Uh, if I had a magic wand, I would add an extra eight hours to my day. Yeah. How many people work at Ice Barrel? Dude, we're a really ask. light team. So there are 11 or 12 full-time employees, and then we have three or four full-time contractors, but we have over 250 active influencers in our campaigns right oh, now. Oh, wow. So wow. that takes a lot of management. We have one to two people on the team full time just managing our ambassadors. Obviously, you've crushed yeah. that part of it. I need to understand that for um, a second. We, we, yeah, 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 we need yeah, some help there. So, <laughs> Specs, are, what, are you guys using Shopify Collabs? Or what do you guys use? No, we built everything internally. Oh, wow. Everything's internal. Yeah. Yeah, we're not on Shopify. We're on WooCommerce. Shout out to WooCommerce. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, strict, strict Shopify. Strict Shopify. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah. So where like, where do you even start with that? Like, I mean, 250 people is a lot of people to manage. So, like, how did it you, is. like, like what, what was the starting blocks for that? Yeah, here's the secret to a successful influencer program. <laughs> Please, I'm listening. Yep, yep. <laughs> you have product. Then you have paid per post, and then you have retainers. And you put your top athletes, your top performers on retainer. Your secondary athletes go towards paid per post. And then the third ones, you're trading product for content. That's pretty that fucking easy. That's first. super easy. Yep. Yeah, that was a yeah. fucking easy breakdown. I've been making this shit complicated. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's real good. Trayvon? Yeah, damn. Good? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I want to have Dustin come in because I know he's yeah. got a code. Yeah. So we'll put Dustin. Hey, okay. Dustin, come here for a second. Yeah. Because if we're going to have you on, we got to make sure there's yeah. like some type of – look. Hold on for one second. All right, all right, one second. All right. I'm sure you don't know the code offhand, so that's – listen, if you need cold therapy, 
you need to go to Ice Barrel. Yeah. Wyatt has done nothing but support the I Want Abs contest. That's right. He's been supporting Dustin. He's been supporting anybody around anything that we had going on at Max Effort. Yeah. Are we able to get into, like, what are the three new products you guys are dropping? No, we can't say it. Oh. No, can't say it. All right, all right. Hey, why it's so intrigued. serious he moved to Ohio. This dude right. from Ohio. He moved here because of production. Where are you originally right. from? Uh, Denver, Colorado area. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. beautiful Denver. So. <laughs> hey, to well, Ohio. Are, are, yeah. yo, so are, are you a Buffalo fan? Like, or uh, are you a Colorado Buffaloes guy? Dude, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not really into sports that oh, much. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to see yeah. what your thoughts were about Dion. Yeah, yeah. no idea. Did so. we ask him about his favorite arm exercise yet? Um, no, we haven't. All right. Was, all right, so if you had to choose one bicep, bicep or tricep exercise to only do for the rest of your life, which one are you choosing? D skull crushers. Hey! 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 Make Eat it, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Eat it, Danny. <laughs> All right, Dustin just shouted over his code. If you want to get an ice barrel, it is gut check. I'm going to put him on real quick because we want to make sure we end this right. D, tell everybody where they can get an ice barrel. <laughs> Listen, if you're trying to get colder and feel better, you need to go to icebarrel.com and use the code GUTCHECK, which will give you $125 off and free shipping to your door. It's made in Ohio right here out of 100% recycled ingredients. You can carry it on your shoulder. it got a drain at the bottom. It's very easy to set up. It's lightweight. It's portable. I cannot say enough good things about Ice Barrel. But don't take my word for it. You need to try it for yourself. That was good Boom. stuff. That was my yeah, hey, so that was that was my mini ad read. You know? right, just a shout mini. out, shout <laughs> out. So I'm solid. wrapping up the podcast, Kyle. So this has been the round table. Uh, <laughs> I'm the graphic gangster. That's small arms dating. That's Trey Speed. Coach uh, Coach Myers. We got Corey G. We got Ice Barrel. Go go to IceBarrel.com. Master Muscle Pre Extreme. Sam Adams. Tell all your boys. Extreme. <laughs>